Hey guys, EVP Man here, and today I'm going to share with you another tip for the Google Home and the Google Home Mini. It's all about playlists and music sources. Let's check it out. So in this video, we're going to cover how do you link your various music sources, that is YouTube Red, Google Play, Pandora, Spotify, to your Google Home experience. And then also, how do you get access by voice to your playlist, regardless of the service that you're using? Let's go ahead and do it. Now the first thing that you need to do is to link all of the services that you have where you consume music. So if that's Spotify, if that's YouTube, if it's YouTube Red, if it's Pandora, we need to first link those accounts to the Google Home. Now by doing that, you're going to gain access to all the playlists that you have in those services. So in this video, I'm not going to show you how to create the playlist because uh, you have probably already have. What we're going to do here is show you how do you link your accounts and then also how do you access them using your voice. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Google Home and then we're going to choose settings. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to services and we're going to choose music. Now once you've chosen music, you'll notice that you have several things going on here. First, you have all the music services that are um, currently um, available. You'll notice that I have Google Play Music, which is my default because I have a little, little dot. And by having that selected, it means that if I don't say anything, if I just say um, you know, the keyword and say play this song, it's going to go first to Google Play Music because that's my default. I don't have to say it. But you'll notice that I have YouTube Music. I have Spotify and I also have Pandora. In your case, all you're going to have to do, because it's going to say, um, it's not going to say unlinked. Mine says unlinked because I already have linked it, but it's going to say link. You're going to tap it and then you're going to authenticate. You're going to put your user ID and password. And then once you've done that, it's already linked to the account. Now you could choose what you want your default music provider to be by just simply tapping on the one of choice. But what you could do is using Google Voice. Uh, the voice feature in the Google Home solution, you can actually say, play this song on Google Play Music, play this song on YouTube Music, play this song on Spotify. So you get it? All you have to do is mention which one you want. So first thing you got to do is create that link. Once you've created those links, the next thing is to actually get access to your playlist. All right, so here's our first example. And what we're going to do is we're not going to use any command outside of play the music and we're not going to specify which one of the music service providers. Play Christmas music. Sure, here's a Google Play music station called Today's Pop Christmas. Now let's try specifying a specific service provider, a music service provider. Play Christmas music on YouTube Red. All right, check out this Christmas music station on YouTube. Let's try another provider. Play Christmas music on Spotify. All right, here's a Spotify playlist called Christmas Songs Holiday Music. Now all you do is for every uh, music provider, you just continue to do it just like I did. So not only can you be very generic when it comes to the kind of music that you'd like to play, so in this case we were just doing just Christmas music, but you could actually specify the artist and the song and then the service provider. But let's not talk about playlists, so what changes? To get a playlist, I already have a playlist on my Google Play Music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference that as I um, ask Google to play. Now, Google already knows that my default music is the uh, Play Store uh, music or Play Music. So all I'm going to do is say the keyword and then I'm going to say play and then the playlist. I'm going to use playlist is going to be the keyword and the name of the playlist. And then it's going to start. Let's try it. Hey Google, play EBP 80s Love Songs playlist. All right, here's your Google Play Music playlist called EBP 80s Love Songs. And there you go. So I hope this answers all your questions around music and music playlists. Really easy to use. And this is really going to open up a whole new world when it comes to music. If you have any comments or questions, 
comment area below. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thanks for watching.